union pitched the idea of clear backpacks opposed to an outright ban. Yeah, but do these approaches actually prevent gun violence? That's what our Michael Martin sought to figure out today. He spoke to the director of the National Center for School Safety. It is a difficult balance. This is Dr. Justin Heinze, an associate professor of health behavior at U of M and the director of the National Center for School Safety. He says analyzing how effective tools and policies are at reducing violent events at schools is difficult to pin down. Fortunately, severe violence is relatively rare within schools. It does happen. It absolutely happens. Um, but it's hard to disentangle what is a non-event, uh, one that was averted versus one that was never going to happen. Unfortunately, there just haven't been very many studies regarding the effectiveness of policies like a backpack ban. In the case of things like um, clear backpacks or backpack bans, there have only been a couple of studies that have really looked at that uh, in depth. And much of that was focused on how students were responding to them. So the data isn't there to prove policies like this will prevent violence, but students will feel their presence. At least in one study, the students were you know, somewhat OK with metal detectors, video cameras, SROs, uh, school resource officers, but they didn't like the backpacks. <laughs> they didn't like the clear backpacks. There's just not enough information for me to say, at least from a, an academic perspective, whether they can make a difference. Um, what I would say for schools that are making the decision to implementing them, um, they know their communities the best. There has already been student pushback against GRPS's ban, but Dr. Heinze says it is important for districts to stay consistent in their approach, not just to create a sense of security, but to foster an environment where kids feel confident enough to speak to a trusted adult when they see another student with a weapon. In order for students to speak up, you need to develop a climate that's uh, that that promotes trust that students feel like they can reach out to a teacher they can report a student um, that they think might be a danger to themselves or others without fear of retaliation or retribution a difficult balance one that will take persistence from district officials but also the willingness to consider feedback from their students and communities it's going to be a, a suite of strategies not just a one uh, kind of a one size fits all model michael martin Fox 17 News. And that backpack ban will remain in effect through at least the end of the school year. Officials have said they will reevaluate the policy down the road after hearing substantially from families.